Um, we, we, as a, we as a company are always looking for the larger facilities. However, we've been recently developing for DHL parcel centers. And um, it backs up what was said earlier, um, that some of these are on airports. So we've just finished uh, sort of uh, four and a half thousand square meters, four, sorry, 4,000 square meters in Bratislava um, for DHL. They'll take it on a long lease. They're quite almost specialist buildings with the pod, put fingers, sorry, out the back. But they're, uh, they're very solid investments. So I think there is going to be an increase in um, those sort of, uh, I'd say, sort of two and a half to 4,000 square meter buildings on the edge of cities. And they are the, the last mile. They're, they're, they're needed and very important parts if you're going to do what you know, Amazon wants to do, which is you can order by nine o'clock in the morning and by four o'clock it's on your desk. Well, you need a very, very strong uh, logistics chain in place for, for, for that to happen. So I think um, there is... Um, the pricing of those as well is quite interesting because they're, they're, they're unusual. They're very um, hu land-hungry development. So you need sort of three or four times the size of the building because of the number of vans and lorries coming in. So those are, those are quite interesting in pricing them. And the rents are much higher, so you can't compare them as such to other warehouse buildings in the area. They just, otherwise the, the economics wouldn't work. Um, overall, I think pricing of secondary, we're not into the secondary market. So I'm, you know, I, we keep our eye on the, uh, the, the, the foremost, the, the core plus sector.